Let's start there because all of the flooding and the storms that we had to deal with really put a hit and a dent in the blood supply because your donors couldn't get out. Yeah, obviously uh, we needed to make sure that we took care of everybody on our end and uh, not ask the donors to come yeah. to a location that could have been flooded. Because you guys lost a number of, of events, right? Yes, we uh, statewide we lost over 50 uh, blood drives wow. earlier this month and that resulted in uh, us not collecting about 1,200 pints of blood that we had planned on collecting. Now it's time to make it up and we can do that starting tomorrow, right? Yeah, definitely. We're going to have uh, both locations open, the, uh, the Omar Shrine Center in Patriots Point, Mount Pleasant, and Somerville Baptist Church. So it's convenient no matter where you are. So if you're in the north area, you can head over to uh, the Baptist Church there in Somerville. Uh, but either location, Patrick, the, the process is the same and it's pretty simple. Yeah, you know, we, we want you to come in and uh, eat a good meal before you show up. You need to read some information before you actually uh, start the process. You donate, which takes five to ten minutes, and then we give you some good snacks and food afterwards from Jimmy John's and Dunkin' Donuts and a few other uh, local restaurants. And now it's even easier thanks to these, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, we have a new process that's starting today. It's called Rapid Pass, and donors can go to our website to redcrossblood.org slash rapid pass, and then they could fill out their donor questionnaire before nice. they come in. But they have to do it the day of their blood donation. Okay, so keep that in mind, and then they scan you in, and that eliminates part of that process. So <laughs> what is already quick can be even quicker. Patrick, yep. thank you. Appreciate thank you. It. We'll see you tomorrow, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., Omar Shrine Center and Somerville Baptist Church.